Hello automators. Now one of the first requests that I see being made about Homey dashboards is to get Google calendars in to them. This tutorial today will allow you to see your calendar and to get some basic details about the things on that calendar. I'm sure the method that you see here today can be used with other sites that you go into and have to log into, or at least a few of them. Now I have to give credit where credit is due. There's a gentleman on the Homey forum board who posted this method in the mega thread for Homey dashboards. His name is Peter. I won't use his last name, but I will thank him and I will leave a link below to the detailed instructions if today's video doesn't help you. The first part of this process is to customize the calendar. We're gonna start at calendar.google.com on a web browser. It's probably easiest to do this part on a PC or a Mac and on that computer, make sure that you've signed into the correct Google account. You'll know that because your calendar will look right. Then you wanna go up to the little gear icon and you'll go into the settings page. From here, choose one of your calendars on the left. It's probably the main one. Then choose Integrate Calendar. Within Integrate Calendar, you probably want to customize the look and feel. So choose those options. And as you see things disappearing and reappearing, you can check to see which parts you want on your calendar. You can even change things like colors on there. You can also adjust the height and the width, and of course you can choose a different default view. So you can go between month and week and other formats. Then at the bottom, you wanna choose the different calendars that you would like to display on this view. And when you're done all of that, what you will have at the top of the page is this embed code. That would normally be used to embed a calendar like this on a web page. What you want to do is copy that and bring it to your favorite note editor or text editor. Then we need to strip out some portions. So we don't need the embed source tag and we don't need a lot of the things at the end. And that's what we'll bring over to the Homey app. So save this, send it to your phone, get a copy of it there on your phone and Let's go work with it and get this on your display. Now that we've created the calendar that we want and, and we've got it looking the way we want, now we have to add it to these dashboards. And I wanna show you one specific security aspect to this. So here's my phone. Uh, you'll notice it says right here, we couldn't show your events. Okay, but if I go to my tablet, there it is. I have done the next step on this tablet and have allowed people to see my calendar. Okay, other people, other tablets and phones and things throughout your home will not see that calendar. So now we have our calendar built and the way to add that in is very, very simple. We go to web and we paste in the URL that I had you grab, okay? There it is, that's it, and that will give you the same problem that I just showed you. What you need to do is you need to go edit widget, get rid of that, type in myaccount.google.com, I put the HTTPS in front of it, and then hit okay. Then, make sure you can uh, scroll through this, and hit save. Now we have to log in. So hit done, and this can be a little tricky to find this, uh, but when you hit go to account, now you sign in using your account, and now that I'm logged in, which you know it might have a two-step verification process or something else like that, now I go and I edit this dashboard again. So I edit, I take this URL out, and I paste back in the original calendar, and then I hit save. That's it, that's all you need. Now you can work with that calendar on your display. If you wanna see how to do more with Homey dashboards, 
check out our full tutorial on this system right there. And as we build additional tutorials for Homey and their entire app, you'll find them in that playlist that's on screen there. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, live smart.